Hi, Reese. Hello. Welcome to Europeans. Thank you. Most importantly, we want to know, have you actually got real coffee? You know, in Japan, you didn't have access to coffee, so I want to know, what do you think of the German coffee? Do you have access to it? Yes, I like the German coffee a lot better than the Japanese coffee. It's smaller portions, though, than back home. Like, the, a cappuccino is so small, so I have to get, like, two cappuccinos at a time. <laughs> but it's okay. It's lovely. It's delicious. Good job, Germany. <laughs> Excellent. Um, this year, you've had several challenging moments before competitions with the airline losing your luggage and you almost having to compete with one of your teammates' kits, everything that happened with the FIG. Can you sort of talk about the different challenging scenarios that have happened and then how you've coped with them? So you've been watching my YouTube channel then? Yes. <laughs> no, it's, that's just sport. And that, that's something that's actually quite nice to share on YouTube and uh, social media on these platforms. And those are like the little challenges that come along the way, probably with a lot of athletes that go through that. But I'm able to share that with you guys. So it's a, it's a nice position to be in. But obviously, yeah, those are challenging times. The lead up to the Commonwealth Games was very challenging, especially. But, um, you know, we're, we're here at the European Championships, so no problems. And we're hoping to put in another good performance. I believe this is only the second time that Ireland has sent a full team. So can you speak about what the goals are for Team Ireland and then for yourself personally? I don't know if it's the second time. I think we've sent quite a few teams in the past. Just in, in the last Olympic cycle, we were focusing in more on individuals. And I believe that this is more of a team of individuals, if you will. You know, we've all got our very strong areas. I've got Palmer Horse, Eamon's got Floor. You know, the other guys have all of their individual apparatus that they're best on. Um, so it's great that we can give you know, five people that opportunity to showcase their strengths. And, uh, you know, we might get a good team result out of that as well, which is great, yeah. This has been a really quick turnaround from Commonwealth Games to European. So how do you get your mind back in gear right after the competition? Did you have any um, changes in equipment that you had to deal with? Yeah, so it changed from Jim Nova to Spieth, but it, Spieth is very familiar for me as well, so it wasn't a big change. And we've got both of them. Pommel Horse is at the training centre in Dublin, so it's not a problem, but I quite like that there's a quick turnaround. I like how, you know, there's a little bit of a mistake in, in Commonwealth, and then I went straight back into the gym and fixed that mistake straight away. So hopefully I don't make that mistake this time, and we, we go through a nice, clean routine. I believe in one of your YouTube videos, you talked about being able to design part of your kit. Um, is, are you wearing the same one here or did you have a choice in designing the one that the team is wearing here? Uh, not here, not here. Um, but it, at the Commonwealth Games, I designed all of our kits. Um, you know, for one of the kits, I based it off the Northern Irish football kit. And uh, then also the second kit that I wore in finals was actually based off the design I wore at the Commonwealth Games in 2018 when I, when I took that title. So I thought it was a cool little homage to, to the result back in 2018 and it was great to wear that kit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Best of luck.